2020 census be counted Allegheny County and Pittsburgh? Be counted. Carnegie depends on it. Every 10 years, the United States conducts a census of the entire population. Our Constitution empowers Congress to carry out the census in, quote, such manner as they shall by law direct, end quote. Our Founders' plan was to empower the people over their government by counting everyone and using that count to define political districts and determine representation in Congress. The decennial census is mandated by law, Title 13. Census participation is a civic duty like voting or jury duty. Anyone living in the United States should participate, including non-citizens and permanent residents. Our goal is 100%. Completing the census helps your community receive the resources it needs to thrive. Every Carnegie resident is impacted. Local government relies on census information to make policy decisions. The census provides a snapshot of the nation, determining the allocation of billions in federal funding for schools, hospitals, healthcare, infrastructure, emergencies, transportation, parks, and community-based services. On April 16th, you will receive your reminder letter and paper questionnaire. On April 27th, you will receive your final reminder postcard. On May 1st, counting will begin for people experiencing homelessness. From April 16th to June 19th, counting will begin for colleges, senior centers, prisons, and other group facilities. From May 27th to August 14th, interviews will be done at homes that have not responded. In December, apportionment counts will be delivered to the President and Congress as required by law. On March 31st, 2021, Redistricting counts will be delivered to states for redrawing legislative districts based on the population changes. Complete the 2020 Census Questionnaire from the comfort of your home. COVID-19 has changed how census hubs operate. If you need assistance, visit our virtual hub at carnegieborough.com. You can complete the Census Questionnaire online by phone or through the mail. 2020 census questionnaires and phone responses are available in 13 languages. English, Arabic, French, Haitian Creole, Japanese, Polish, Portuguese, Tagalog, Chinese, Korean, Russian, Spanish, and Vietnamese. Paper forms are printed in English and Spanish. Language guides and glossaries are available in 59 non-English languages, including Braille and American Sign Language. Enumerators visit households who have not responded to the census questionnaire. Clearly identified Census Bureau employees will ask you to fill out the survey while they are there. Only count anyone living or staying in an owned or rented home on April 1st. Now that almost all students live off campus, they need to respond with their families or themselves. Universities will count students who remain on campus. Only count children present in a household on April 1st. If the child shares time between two homes, count them where they are on that day. Do not count babies born after April 1st. The census asks how many people live or stay in each household, their gender, age, race, and relationship to the central person. The census will not ask any household member to provide a social security number or citizenship status. Identifiable information about you or your home cannot be released to any agency. Census Bureau employees take an oath and are bound by law to keep your personal information confidential for life. 
Sign up to receive updates and stay informed on the 2020 census at becounted2020.org. Be counted, Carnegie depends on it.